Hey everyone, Complex back with another video and today, well today kicked off a week two in Season of Skulls in Anthem and I wanted to chat with you about the new conjunction event that has spawned in free play. So after you do the initial three events um, like you did last week and you go to do the boss event, it is different than last week. This is called the Undying, which is the fury that you need to kill and if you're working on the challenge to kill all the free play bosses, this is the next one that you're going to need. But this event runs a little differently and as a big heads up when the event starts it says tier one but there is actually only one tier and at the end of the event you will get all three chests so don't worry about that if you finish the event you're like we're tier two and tier three it's that's normal you will get all the um the loot so no worries there but how this event works is a fury is about to spawn in and that kicks off the event itself so when the fury spawns in, you'll be able to quote unquote kill the fury like normal. You want to take down its armor and shields. But what happens is once you do that, you kind of see the fury becomes almost like skeletal and it gains all of its armor and shields back and it becomes invulnerable. It cannot uh, be killed or anything like that. What you learn is that the fury is actually tied to the shaper relic right next to it where you would normally drop off echoes. And what has to happen is you're gonna have a particular enemy type that you're gonna have to kill. And when you kill those enemies, they are gonna drop an echo and then you're gonna place them in the pad and that will unlock the fury and it's kind of like a rinse and repeat. So the first stage, you're going to have to, you and your team are going to have to kill seven brutes and those brutes will each drop a echo. Now you can see that the brutes are actually marked with a little icon over their head. So you'll know exactly where to find them within this event. And then once they drop the echo, place it in the echo pad and get all seven of them dead. And then we will move on from there. Something to note though, that especially if you're on GM three, be careful of the fury attacks. The fury is still doing its, um, just like spitting fury stuff at you I guess is the best way to describe it and uh, it's it can one shot you very quickly so it would just be aware of that um, and then after you have all seven echoes in the echo pad the fury is quote unquote killable again like I said it's a rinse and repeat so you'll get the fury's uh, shields and armor down and then it'll become invulnerable slash you'll kind of see the skeletal outline of it again and then there's the second enemy type to kill and get the echoes from in the second wave it is for Valkyrie and they will spawn they do spawn in I feel like a little bit slower than the brutes um so you'll go in you will kill each of the four valkyries and then you will deliver the echoes and then once those echoes are delivered you're actually able to finally kill the fury for the final time so it's basically kill the fury it doesn't die kill all the brutes to get the echoes you need seven then kill the fury again it doesn't die kill four valkyrie get four echoes and then you can actually kill the Valkyrie and then at the end of that you get three chests which to me that's not a bad ROI I mean if you have to do all the free play events to start that can take up to 20 minutes and then this itself doesn't take too too long I mean no, we did this like five six minutes kind of thing so it's really not that bad for three chests it just depends on how quickly you can get the other events done if you need to do them in order to get in for um this event itself so it is something to bear in mind i did also want to mention that the initial three free play events that you need to do they haven't changed um so you can just do the ones that we were doing last week and then the conjunction is the only thing that's changed and if you need any help with those free play events the video i posted last week on the free play event which i will leave in the description down below does walk you through it so you should have something there for that and then off topic i wanted to let you know that in the cataclysm itself the crucible of astrid has been unlocked so there are now four events within the cataclysm itself which is pretty awesome if you are grinding out for crystals to spend in the seasonal store but y'all that is going to be it for me today thank you so much for joining me i hope that this helped if you have any questions about the new free play event please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments down below or find me on twitch i do stream anthem at least once a week but like i said that will be it for me today i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night and or day depending on where you are in the world and i will catch you next time bye guys